Hello everybody and welcome back to Starfield. I recently played this game for the first time in about mm, six, seven months, and I'm actually impressed with how much Bethesda has turned this game around. It was very bland at the launch, and now that I'm coming back through it, I'm rediscovering a lot of changes that Bethesda made to the game, and I'm actually enjoying it. I, I don't actually have a good way to say that I'm actually enjoying it without just plainly saying those words. So we left off just getting to the lodge for the first time and meeting the members of Constellation. Now let's go forward and see what they want with us. What can I help you with? So are you ready to get to work or was there something else? Well I don't really want to do anything I was forced to come here but I killed a lot of innocent or maybe not innocent people on the way here and now you're going to be forced to live with that guilt. In any other words, I'm ready. Let's just go. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Well, I already know about the UC. I shouldn't be asking questions. Since I'm a UC citizen, I should know. But, um, well, I'm excited. It's my first mission. I'm going to get to do something important. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Well, sure. Do I get a salary? Uh, yeah, I guess we can go find an artifact, but you're going to be tagging along with me while I do whatever I want, so... You're going to have to live with that and stop giving me that cheeky ass smile. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Sure. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right, now we have Sarah chasing us around instead of this you giant are robot. Satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yeah, I've got a room somewhere, but I'm not going to go looking for the room. I don't care. Not at this moment in time. Right now, we need to go. Oh, I can go see my parents. Uh, my parents are alive. I forgot about that. That's one of the nice little... Uh, perks you can pick when you're making your character is you can have an alive family. So, uh, my parents are out there somewhere. I gotta go find them. If I don't kill myself by running first. Not sprinting game. Why is my thing going up? Alright, game. Very funny. Well, I guess I'm just gonna sprint everywhere and die i guess but seriously i'm not sprinting oh it's because i'm over encumbered well let's fix that i'm gonna drop one of my five axes that i haven't sold yet all right we should be good now i think you sure you want to get rid of that yes Otherwise, I'm overweight, and being overweight sucks because I can't move. All right, come on. The citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values okay, of the okay. Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance. I'm a citizen who doesn't care about my own country's values. For now. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully, Constellation's newest member thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies earn some credits? 
Even get your UC citizenship? Oh, sorry, but no. UC citizenship is all earned based on service. They should have covered this in your civic lessons. Go figure. Well, sure. That's just what I want. Another job. Sign me up. I need money. I got a house to pay off. I got parents to keep alive. Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, and knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy get-up of yours. No worries, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first, head down to the orientation hall and get signed up at the registration terminal. System will walk you through the rest. Well, am I just oh, ditching you Sarah? Got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. Well, um, I just took another side quest, so I think that's the first thing that we're gonna do. Actually, the process starts with registration down in the York. Okay, I'm gonna do my registration here, and then I'll come back up and get Sarah's quest. Uh, Vanguard Orientation Hall. Uh, this is one of the quest lines I did enjoy, actually. I did like the Vanguard stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm not reading anything. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall. Or continue on to the examination. I could literally not care less about most of these things. Given that I've heard them once before, I it is an interesting first time type of thing. But most of the factions kind of seem generic. They're generic except for maybe House for Room, which is going to be expanded upon in the upcoming DLC, which I am very excited for. It was actually one of the reasons I came back to revisit this game is I heard there was going to be a DLC coming out and I'm like, well, that's a great time to play this game again. By the time I get ready I for the DLC, I'll be able to, to actually play it and have a more generalized concept of what's going on again, you know? All right, let's go into our pilot simulator. Wait, was there something over here I didn't do? Looks like it. Actually, I think that's just the quest I was previously doing for Sarah, and then I ran away. But I'm not taking you on this elevator, Sarah. Goodbye. All right, let's go pilot the ship. The thing I've done Welcome once before. I've spent a fair bit of time in simulators just like these. They're startlingly realistic. Have fun. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You, of course. You'll, your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that, and you pass the... However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. So I just have to right, then. basically play combat flight simulator for a little bit. And this is going to determine how long I have to be in the military to get my uh, citizenship. And if I do really good at my combat flight simulator, I get a bonus. So uh, I'm going to go get my bonus, I guess. Warm up the engine. This is the Mark 18 Flight Simulation Chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Just before I do that, I love that I heard Sarah's voice in here, but she's not here. I heard her say something, and then I just kind of... Well, it just cut out immediately. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Oh, I'm gonna give myself mega everything right now. 
I sure that's good. Tier one simulated ship behind me. I don't like the rocky environments because I don't want to shoot at rocks, I want to shoot at the ship. Alright, we took a little bit of damage, but nothing scary yet. Or do I take that one out real quickly there, it looks like. You will regret that. I will regret that. No, I don't think I will. Now if I could find their ship without having to do this stupid loop-de-loop -loop game. You'll have to try harder than that. Do I? Are you actually good enough for me to try harder or are you just another smart ass computer? Target defeated. Thanks for letting me know. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier one reached. Initiating tier two. Let me just fly around and shoot stuff, I suppose. Oh, do I not get a shield? It says hollow. New targets so. active. All right, let's go get our new targets. Got that first ship down. Let's stay on them. Pop them real quick and move on to the next one. I played Star Wars Battlefront. I can do this. Get back here. No running away from me. Taking fire. Target defeated. Alright. One down. One more to go. We got a missile land on me. So let's go over here and... Get away from that. Guy went just right under me. That's super annoying. We don't want that. I think he just went... Oh, what a direction. If you get motion sickness, this flight surely isn't for you. Uh, I, I'm lucky I don't have motion sickness. Otherwise, I think I'd be throwing up right now. It's a very lot of spinning around and... Of course, the space, like, background probably doesn't help much. Ooh, we're going to delete this guy. Detected. Okay, we got him. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 2 reached. Initiating Tier 3. And the star station. New targets active. Okay, our targets are over here. Let's go pop them off too. So, I mentioned before, Starfield has actually well and truly improved in this little bit of time since I last played it. Um, you know, it's not something I really expected to say. I mean, it's not like it's had any significant story changes that, you know, make it a life or death change, but the game has been more fun to play. I, oops. I have been enjoying playing, so I think that is a testament that Bethesda has came back to Starfield and put work into it to make it a more playable and enjoyable experience. Ooh, we are very close to this guy. I can't see his health bar for some reason. Not sure if we that's are a not bug. impressed. I don't care if you're impressed. You're a robot. I'm a person. Now because you were talking that shit, I'm going to murder you, Mr. Robot. Once I stop spinning in circles chasing you. Or somebody up here, which is probably upside down. I don't know. No 
quarter given. Oh, I actually knocked out my shields. I wish I could see them. It's about my only problem right now is I haven't seen them. I'm not getting any hit markers, or not hit markers, but uh, identifiers for them other than this, which isn't really helping. Usually it'll pop up with a little tab of their, you know, level and their whatnot, so I would see that. I think what we need you to do is put some do distancing. Because right now they're right behind me, so let's do a little bit of fancy flying. I'm not sure why I can't see uh, markers for them. But that's the big thing that's good in this right now is I can't find my target. They're not showing up here. It is very annoying. They're able to shoot me and all I'm targeting is a stupid space station over there. Target elimination imminent. And without that showing up, I can basically not see anything other than this little blip that says, hey, they're over there and shooting at you. But over there is probably like behind me. Halting simulation. You've been defeated, applicant. You may initiate a reset of your current tier at the terminal inside the cockpit. Or step outside and take a break. I think we're going to restart that. Because if it's not going to show me who I'm supposed to be shooting at, there's kind of an issue. And my character does not look happy about it. All right, let's try this simulation again. You've been defeated. Oh, well, just go again. Maybe you'll win this time. This year, military training. Simulation reset. Prepare for your first opponent. Still targeting that stupid station out there. New targets active. Yeah, I want to target this guy here. I want to target the enemy, not the space station. Game seems to think I want the space station. Your progress ends here. I don't think so. I really need to stop doing that. I'm trying to figure out what button changes my targeting because that is the big issue right now. Lip. Somebody's just on the side of us. Extermination protocols active. Well, this is very confusing because I can't find the people I'm trying to fight. I'd love for their tab to be here when I'm shooting them so I know what to Target do. Target defeated. The game doesn't seem like. I should have those benefits right now. So I guess I'll just take damage from this guy shooting me and not be able to find him. Oh, there we find our guy. He turns straight. Yep. I got him this time, maybe. can't just incredibly 
amount to how stupid this is, where I can't target my enemy. But I have this stupid space station in the corner of the map targeted for whatever reason. I didn't tell the game to target it either, it just did it on its own. And then now I have to live with it. So now I'm being shot at. I can't see where from other than this little blip. And the thing is almost always behind me. Alright. There we go. Here's our target. So I can't get a manual or I can't get an auto lock on them either because it's still targeting this stupid space station. So all this aiming that you're seeing is all manual. Engine systems unavailable. All targets eliminated. Okay. I'm gonna just come back real quick and see if I can't get that targeting fixed. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. We are going to stay and we're going to kick this computer's ass now that I figured out how to target things again. But now I won't be a noob for much longer. Resuming the examination. New target's active. Alright, new target, come here. I finally remembered what button it is to murderize you. when I know where you are. Yeah, come on, get these targets hands now. Defeated. Ooh, it's good. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 4 reached. Initiating Tier 5. See, my complaint over there was that I couldn't change the targets because I was dumb and I didn't know what key to press. But I also didn't tell it to do that, so... That's where my irritation really came in. I didn't tell the game to switch targets, and when it did, it kind of murdered me. Let's get this guy as quick as we can. If we can get him quick enough, then we can hop onto the other tier ships real quick. Without his shields regenerating the process. We you are won't defeat us. All right, now let's see if I can't get a little bit of distance and repair. Might not be that lucky. Looks like we're just going to get shot out right away. Halting simulation. You have passed, applicant. You may proceed to the exit hatch to log your results, or restart the exam from the simulation's control terminal. All right, let's stop wasting time on this and let's get out of here. Why could I hit him again? Why do I have my scanner here? Alright. Oh, hi. Not a very accurate simulator. I should crash and be in a million pieces. Should be like a mass effect where my, uh, top of my ship's just ripped in half and... Oh, that was trippy. What was that? Are you actually doing it? Something. Uh, yeah, let's exit the simulator. I don't claim to be a great pilot. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're right. welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. Let's go, Sarah. We got work to do. Hey, Commander, I passed your stupid flight test, which was my only thing that proved I'm useful for you. 
not my on the ground skills, not my communications, uh, not the fact that I just carried somebody completely random through all your tests. I, I just passed a flight simulator. You want to talk to me now? Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Uh, sir, yes, sir. I like the fire, applicant. Let's get into it. So, looking at the data, skip the murals altogether, huh? Not that they're required or anything, but naturally inquisitive folks tend to do well in this organization. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't test. have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. Oh, thank you. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John. You're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Yeah, I have a family. I gotta support them. I gotta pay off my mortgage. And I can shoot people, so... I guess that qualifies me for being in the military. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah, after all this way I came, I got dropped off by Sarah. She's like, you're gonna come with me and we're gonna do a quest, and instead she takes me to this guy and I start doing whatever he wants instead. I can't imagine how annoyed she must be with this. Oh, that reminds me, I did get a jump pack. I should put that on. Not because I need it, but just because uh, I can jump around and do this instead. Or not. Maybe. Did they finally disable it in the cities? Looks like they did. Unless I can't do it just because of the scene. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I do. <laughs> I'm not in. I'm not in the commitment, but for you, fine. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? Oh, I suppose. I can go fix something. That's the spirit. 
Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. You've got something for me? Hey. Head down to the spaceport and speak to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you where you need to go. Well, first, you need to finish talking about our constellation business. You know, the actual important reason I came here instead of being a grunt. Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it, before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. So you got one of those things. And he's using it for an ornament. <laughs> oh, the indignity. Hey, you're a vanguard now. I don't want to see any disrespect of a fellow soldier. Demeans the whole organization. Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with one of our own anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Sure. Thanks for your help. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother. Good luck out there, Vanguard. So, if you're going to be chased, where the hell did she go? Sarah, where'd you go? Why are you up there? How did you get up there when you were just right here with me? Whatever. So, you used to be able to use your boost pack. <laughs> in, uh... damaged or something? Yeah, it doesn't work. Sarah, why did you just yell at me for doing that, but then you jumped off there as well? So, uh, you used to be able to use your boost pack. Actually, I might take this one for now. You used to be able to use it while you were in the cities, but now it doesn't seem like you can. So, let's head up to the spaceport and get ourselves set up. Get our basic gear, whatever they're going to give us. Would be also I've flown great time. across most of the settled systems in all manners of Sarah, spacecraft. Shut up. And yet, I still get sick on the gnat. As I was saying before Sarah rudely interrupted me, it's a great time to actually go to a merchant like this one here and sell off all that extra junk that I picked up a while ago. Who are you? Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Okay, so you're the one in charge. Sell me things. Oh, please, take a look. Okay, and I go here to sell. Maybe. There we go. I didn't want to do that, but I did it, apparently. Um, we need to get rid of some of these extra weapons. Like our four axes here for some reason. Now we should remember that this person has a limited inventory, so or a limited amount of credits. So let's sell her important things only. Don't think I need my mining suit anymore. Uh, I hope this is not the wrong choice. Okay, it didn't make me naked. I thought it would make me naked for some reason. Never know what these games these days. I just sold the thing she gave me. You know, 
I think I'm going to get rid of those and I'll go with that. Now let's go here. And we can get rid of these for now because I'm not building a settlement anytime soon. I had my share of that in Fallout 4. But we needed the money and those were things that we could sell immediately so I picked them up before. Uh, and here... I don't want some of these things so we're just going to get rid of them. You do get quite a bit of things in here that you can pick up and sell and may or may not use. And so we we're already starting with 22,000 credits. That's a nice start. Thanks. And I can't take all. If it weren't for him, I... Oh, Appreciate the and the one last thing I forgot to do in here is I need to go see my parents. My parents that are alive. My parents that aren't dead. I'm an RPG character where I have alive parents. Very rare thing, you know. I believe it's in the residential district. Like, seriously, I want you to give me a list of how many RPG games you can think of where the main character's parents are still alive. Sure, they can have a wife, or they can have kids, and quite a few games out there. But how many times do you have alive parents? Okay, we're looking for the Pioneer Building, if I remember correctly. Oops, I should probably put on clothes before going to see my parents. I'm sure they would be... Um... Quite irritated with me if I walked in there naked with Sarah, who didn't have any comment on me being naked either. But I'm starting to think there's something going on there. Alright. Now let's go back and uh, find our mission, and before we go there... Hmm. I should go see that. For either of those, I need to go and see somebody... Okay. Activities, Pioneer Tower. Let's go there first. Which is just over there. I want to suggest a burning bug. The Welsh now, I mentioned this before. The time. Shut up. Um, I mentioned them, that this game is actually changed. performing a lot better now. They did a lot of different graphical changes and optimizations. So when this game first came out, being in any of these cities, you would have like 20 FPS. I have a 3080 Ti in my computer, a uh, 5600X a Ryzen CPU. I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I have plenty to run this game. But when it came out, it was so poorly optimized that I was getting, you know, 20 FPS walking around anywhere. Okay. Sarah, I know we're not dating. You're still standing in the elevator a little bit awkwardly. I thought this was a mirror for one second. You get out of here. I, you should meet my parents as long as you're here. Been a long time since I've been. Maybe another time. Okay. Well, whether or not Sarah is going to get her shit together, I'm going to go see my parents. Dad. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Well, uh... I kind of... had a trip on this artifact thingy, and... Well, I'm here now. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Stop. You're making me blush. Hey, if I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. 
Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Oh. You know what, Sarah? Since you didn't want to come in, fuck you. Closing that damn door. Here's my room. The messy room, they said. Oh, now you want to come in after I already yelled at you. So, uh... I'm going to assume this is my... Yeah, it looks... High school backpack. Backpack note from mom. Let's check it out. Aw. That's wholesome. Whoa, what are you? You're kind of cool. Don't steal anything from me, Sarah. Galactic cat, hell yeah. Okay. Can't use my own bed, but it's kind of cool that something like this just exists. Go back to your house and see how things were. And Is there a picture of me in here? No. Regina, the president of... Oh, I know all about her. Constellation sounds magical, like a storybook. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. But how is it for real? You liking it? I've been here for like a total of five seconds. Uh, I just kind of showed up at their doorstep. I had a trip off this magic artifact thing they found in the ground. And, uh... Yeah, I, I, I hope they like me. Don't you worry yourself about that. All your life, you've been just this mess of potential waiting for a chance. Your number's finally been called, and the settled systems had better be ready for you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Oh yeah. I taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Well, it sounds like that university was very lucky to have a guy who was dedicated to his job. I gave it my good old college try. <laughs> you see what I did there? Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Oh, my. No, we're not going to do this. This is terrible. Um, you need anything? You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Well, you got any plans with your retirement? Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother's been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. Fair enough. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. Well, it's good that my parents are enjoying their life. It's good to have you home. Let's talk to mom for a little bit. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Yeah, nothing to report yet. This is a military installation right now. I, I, I can't report anything. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long. 
but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. I really appreciate that. I, that's just, this is wholesome and I like it. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Well, uh, any gossip, I guess? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Oh, I think that's all I gotta ask. I'm not gonna ever ask you to move somewhere cheaper. You're gonna get all the money you need to survive. You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Like, I really gotta be curious. Can I use my bed? I can. Oh, my lord. There, we can't be here right now. We got a mission to do. Anything good to watch tonight? That's very wholesome. I imagine there's going to be some updates with that as we go on. We get into different missions and different character outcomes. And I'm sure there's going to be some sort of update to that conversation system with your parents. And I'm very excited to see it. I think it's very wholesome for a game to have something like that. And now I need to go to Galbank and figure out this Dream Home ordeal. I already have like a quarter of the credits to pay it off. Why am I looking at my inventory? All right, so before we leave, we need to go figure out our dream home. I haven't even seen this house yet, so... Uh, so looks like we can run over there. Jayla. Somebody was asking me about my file, and I ain't telling you shit. Um... This does have a climbing system. I thought that was crazy before, but I don't remember where it was. In the last episode, I saw it. I thought I was tripping balls. But no, I'm not crazy. There's actually a system. I am seeing a little bit of FPS drop here, but it's not incredibly crazy. I am running on all maximum ultra settings, so when I get into bigger unoptimized areas I'm sure I'm gonna have you know a little bit of a drop and if I really wanted that to turn down I'd just nuke out the NPCs that are in here and now I fell in the water and embarrassed myself all right I gotta go to the gal bank right over there and I probably shouldn't have took out my gun in this residential area especially when I'm going into a bank you know just guns out Give me your they money. We're gonna give our son to a different family. We made it back just in time. Yikes. Hello, Mr. Banker. Now yeah, listen, I, I have a lot on my plate right now, and you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. Now, who exactly are you? I'm a member of Constellation. Constellation? As in the elusive and mysterious Constellation. Oh, wow. I used to read stories about you guys when I was a kid. Um, wow. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kismet, really. I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. Who do you want me to kill? Good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. And what I need is a ringer. Someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. So, who are you looking for? Yes! <laughs> so, we got a galaxy-class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. And we don't want him dead. We don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest citizen. 
Good thing, I'm an honest citizen. I can do that for you. But, is he dangerous? Well, I mean, yes. And we're not the only ones looking for him. And you don't dome up on a dust ball unless you're serious about dodging your civic responsibilities. And what happens if he dies? If he dies, then his assets go to probate, and we can get paid. So if he forces you into an it's you or him situation, it's a okay for Galbank's bottom line if you choose him. But I cannot stress this enough. This is not the ideal outcome. We wanted him liquidated, and we'd have put a tracker on him. And how would I get him to pay? Well, you may need to lean on him, scare him. Nothing illegal, just talk to him. And don't listen to any sob stories he tells you. Any job I give you, I guarantee there's not some poor, sick aunt that needs credits for surgery. These are scofflaws, scum, flagrantly violating the terms of their gal bank agreements. All right, let's collect it, but this doesn't cover my house, right? I'll send over all the details. You find Dieter and bring his account current. I hate to end on this note, but, you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. If you cut a deal with Dieter, honestly, I have no way of knowing. But don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck. I believe in you. Good luck out there. I mean it. All right, now I can talk to you about my house. Right, small home in the Olympus system, right? There's a balance on that property. Argos Extractors negotiated a very fine loan for you. There are weekly payments, but if you miss a payment, no big deal. It's a pay-as-you-go type of affair. But I think we'd all be happier if you dealt with the mortgage one way or the other. All right, so tell me my options. Certainly. So there are two ways to take care of a loan for good. One's easy, just pay off the balance, then the house is yours, free and clear, and you are one very happy new homeowner. The other option, less ideal, is just walk away and we foreclose on the property. That is a chunk of change to be sure, but we don't do partial payments. Sorry, it's in the contract. If you get the money, though, we're happy to settle the mortgage for good. You have a good day. Together, we can really make a diff. Certainly. So there are two ways to take care of a loan for good. One's easy. Just pay off the balance, then the house is yours, free and clear, and you are one very happy new homeowner. The other option, less ideal, is just walk away and we foreclose on the property. So, I can tell him to foreclose, tell him I don't have the money, or that I need to think Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. Take all the time you need. It, so, it seems like I can just come back when I have the money and pay him off. So, with that in mind, I think we'll go. Uh, Let's make sure that we pick up our correct quest this time. Don't want to track this. I'll have a thing there to actually visit the house. But first, let's Not go do Sarah's time. quest so we don't have her following us forever. Wow, you look completely different. Because I'm sure Sarah just doesn't want to follow me forever and now she's lost again. I have no idea where Sarah keeps getting off to. I never remembered it being that bad with them just disappearing from your life. Been looking for you. Let's talk. Hey. Okay. I don't care. Hey, I'm looking for you. Alright, keep looking, bozo. Alright, back to the spaceport. Very cloudy, blue night here. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. 
Probably some weird shit. I don't know. I'm an artist. I have a lot of respect for artists, but there's none of it that I can do for myself. I mean, I can give you a deformed stick, man, and that's most you're gonna get from me, you know? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk. Looks to me like you've already... Everything looks... Good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey, you should see some of the ships we get down in here. Like oh, I should be able to get my UC stuff somewhere around Some here. Else. Of course, I wasn't paying attention. I want to be the next David Baron. Even bigger. Good for you, Tommy. I ain't giving a heck and shit. Thought there was a guy around here who gave me my gear. Oh, well, let's pop up in my quest. I really didn't listen to that. Crew Chief Hera, where are you? This one might... Okay, you are where I thought you are. So, with me being not completely stupid, I'm going to reslot this quest here. And let's go pick up our new gear. You're officially a soldier and an explorer. Hopefully nothing more than that. I'm shocked she managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? No questions for you. Then I won't keep you. I like your accent. Make us look good out there, recruit. That's another interesting thing about these uh, space sci-fi games is the human race is generally well, uh, well united compared to real events. So I suppose that's why it's always fiction, you know. You never hear so much about infighting in these games rather than just general alliance or, you know, united colonies or something of that nature. Let's go right into the cockpit and Tip, lift off. Where are we headed next? Well, to save myself some time, I'm going to hit the wrong button. We'll go in here, and we're going to set a course for our mission in Sidonia. Just a short jump away. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. No, no thank you. We'll go this way now. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. Oh, you are clear no. to land in Sidonia. You know, I never tried that, but I'm sure I could run into somebody, you know? I feel like that would incur a bounty and some very negative relations with my home country. So, we're not going to try that just yet. At some point in the series, I will try that and I will run into somebody with my ship. And I'll take all the consequences for doing so, but it's... You know, I gotta do it. Alright. You're on Mars. Can I use my boost pack yet? I think they disable boost packs when you're not in a environment that you need to explore. Heat leeches in the engine. Leeches on the hull. Hey, multiple leeches in the craft to drive. With you. Suppose I don't that would care. The brown so Why are you following me anyway? I'm just an innocent man. 
well we'll wait for this door there we go i just had to say something you okay sarah it's a little bit robotic of you always nice to get Sorry. back at the broken spear what do you mean there's no work mars gravity look at this place I can't imagine being cramped down here, oh. choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. You know, I agree with you on that one. I sure hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. I couldn't live like this. It'd be really depressing. Okay. Hello. Yes. What? Okay. Hey, hello. I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Yeah, I'm serving drinks here for over forty years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Well, we'll track him down if you know where he's going. I uh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Skip to the part where you admit you're lying. Yeah, but he could need your help. I don't think you should put a price on it, man. I mean, if he's never, you know, coming back, then you're not going to get your money. I don't want to give you any money. And I could find him alive. And you could have your customer back. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're going to guilt trip me? Yeah, I mean, what's more important, the dude's life or your money? Yeah, I'll get your point. And we can find him. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Come on, forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to get hey. you right back home. It's hard not to worry when your spouse is the one doing all the hard work. All right, let's go find our person. And be accosted by some uh, bounty hunter outside for no reason. I'm sure it's part of a DLC quest. Uh, one of the things they've probably added in in the meanwhile. But I don't want to do it yet. I got other things I got to do first. And if I keep taking side quests, I'm eventually going to get too distracted and do nothing. So. Building Sidonia completely oh, underground you. was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Brr. Do love the flying around doing parkour. I never messed with ships too much in this game. I did get a couple. Um, I never built one. So I'm curious to see if in this playthrough I'll do something different. Word and we'll get underway. Alright, I'm not going to wait for you to do your long thing, Sarah. So let's go and go to Venus. Go find our man. Uh-oh. I see red markers. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealot. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Yeah, well, why are they out here? No idea. They appear and attack people.
people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. It'd be nice if we could get there without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, so we can sneak with the ship. Let's go ahead and take some stuff out of our weapons. And we'll put one in the grav so that way we can get out, you know. We need to be right up oh, here. Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised, and cast the accursed into shadow. So they came all the way out here just to pray to their god. Well, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I just want to get my beacon and come out of here. And if you chase me, then I will shoot you. And you want to know something? I'll tell you a little bit of a fun fact. Getting shot hurts. And once you get shot, you have the possibility to die, if you do not die immediately. And you want to know something? Dying sucks. You don't want to die. Probably. Alright, let's get our data and get out of here. This is Vanguard Moira. To all UC affiliated ships, I'm heading to the Nova Galactic Storyard orbiting Earth's moon. Yeah, yeah, I know, the whole place is decommissioned. But I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Well, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. Alright, so we know where to go now. Let's go and get there. Let's take the nice free jump from this. And back to our moon. Alright, there's our star yard. Oh, there it is. Let's go Nova back and... Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the damn moon. And why did we leave the Earth? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. You know, we will go back to Earth at some point in this series, and we're going to check it out. I want to see what's there. I was very briefly on Earth, I think, for one mission, and that was it. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Let's give our systems their juice back. I think it was more like that. Nobody's answering the hail. It's supposed to be abandoned, so... Alright, let's get close. Nothing? Alright, let's dock. See what's going on here.
Hopefully there's nobody on board that I have to hurt. All right, let's board the star station and see what's up it's here. It's good to be back on board. Oh. Well, that doesn't look good. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Well, what it sounds like is that we need to be ready for a fight. Um, let's take out our pistol first. And our levels, we should account for those, because we haven't touched them in a while. Matter of fact, I don't know if I've touched them at all. Let's upgrade our ballistic weapons, because I sure know that I'm going to shoot at things. Um, these are all, oh, I need to actually be trained to use my boost pack. I wasn't, okay. So, again, I've been stupid already. So, we're going to find some things in here that, uh, we're just going to have to learn about. I mean, I'm not going to know everything. We're going to learn as we go through this playthrough, and hopefully you stick with me and enjoy. Sure, that would explode if I shoot at it, and the inner demon in me is threat. I had to do it. It works. I just saw something twitch. Dead people all around. What's going on in here? Another spacer. Nothing over there for me. Oh, there's a gunfight going on. There we need to be sneak. What the hell is... Uh huh? Uh huh? What is this? This is kind of... What? What the hell? Sarah, what the hell's going on in here? Sarah, what the hell's going on in here? I'm scared. Uh, he's just toast in here. Who knows how long it's been? Oh my god, this is hurting my eyes. What is this? Oh, oh my lord. You know, I, I just said this game was improved too, and now it's doing this. Oh my lord. Well, this area looks normal and... Find anything useful? Sarah, shush. What the hell? <laughs> this is it. Okay, we're gonna hide, just let them do their thing. Oh, what the hell, I'm gonna intervene. Oh, you're going to regret this. Oh, they don't even know where I am yet. That's that interesting. An ecliptic mercenary. What are they doing here? Scavenging a star yard is a bit low end for them. He's down. Somebody over there. Get grenaded, idiot. <laughs> Why did he scream so late? Alright. I'm gonna pull out the knife. Where are you going? So cool. 
There's a murderer with a knife in here. Just walked in here. I'm poking him. He ain't doing none. Got your body here. Oh, no, no, oh boy, he's gonna miss me. You wanna say that to my face? Oh god, you. Uh, let me get my health back and then you can say that to my face. This is gonna end badly for you. Okay, maybe that isn't the best strategy, but it was very amusing just walk up and start poking him with a knife. I should, you know... I should just be dead, but it shouldn't happen. Um, normal mode FDW, I guess. Uh, nothing in here I really need. Let's equip a gun again. I think that was the one we were using. So it was some sort of UC star station, and now it's just a ruin. And these people are looting it for who knows what. But anything we find, anything on that pill bottle, I can't read it. It's too small. Uh, I'm going to keep walking into walls. Nothing in there for me. I just murdered you. Could be something in here. Ooh, this was more. Put a body here. Uh, some sort of something. I don't know. Storage closet with body bags. Hmm. This is what I need. My storage, I suppose. Expert lock. I can't get in there. I'll take your med pack, though. Uh, secret outpost. I ain't reading that right now. When I get to it, I'll get to it. What's in here? Anything for me? Doesn't look like it. I'd love to jump over that, but the game says I'm not going to. So let's go this way, it looks like. Initiating combat? Please, no. I just want to talk. I talk with my gun, though. Hopefully, without you talking back. My aim is great. You don't even have to aim down the sight, I just spray and pray. Why can't come from behind me? Ah, Sarah, help. Oh, I can't see. He can't see. Shoot him now. Ow. Don't shoot me. Let's do it. Dead. Uh, headshot. Yeah, you do need to focus. You're not doing much. They're pushing me. I keep feeling like I'm moving when I'm not hitting a key. Whoa, Must be dead. Where do they go? Why are still up here? He's just knocked down and crawling away. Actually, good question. Where did he go? I don't see him. There was a guy up here. I didn't kill him. Where did he go? Ah. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can't find anything else about what's going on. Ooh, sparkling water. I'll take that. Like a good flavor, I could go for a good blue raspberry sparkling water, you know. Oh, huh. I've done that. I was kind of spooky. searching them, make it quick. No, well, I've already Something's done it. Out there. I told 
Don't even need a gun. <laughs> Where did he come from? That's a wall. Show me what you got. Um, you know, that's nice, Sarah, but I'm gonna go and pick this door first. I mean, who knows what goodies are back here, you know? Um, how about that? Hey, that works. I think you belong there, and this belongs here. Aren't I just a genius? Some credits, some grenades, and mines. You picked the wrong day to piss me off! Eesh. We got a badass in here. He's got multiple health bars. Have that grenade. Oh, uh, I suppose we should go and equip our mines. That'll be the next thing to go. It was. He's right there. Let's back up, Sarah, otherwise they're just going to suicide into us. Alright. Heads up! Sarah, back up. I tried warning you. I think that was their boss, though. I'm out of ammo. I ain't ready another gun. Um... This one. I'm doing all the And I'm the one getting actively shot at. Oh, you guys ringing bad. Oh, ammo again. Eesh. That's all I got left. Otherwise, I have to pull out the cutter. Good job, you got one this late. I think we need a little more in cover now. Oh lord. I could desperately use some ammo. Where are you crawling to, little buddy? There is fighting somebody over here. Oh god, he's gonna explode. Alright, let's go in here. Vanguard sleep. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property. But this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Alright. Actually, not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once. Medic. There are no medics here.
He wanted mercy, but he was shot in the head. Well, there's just hallucinogens in the crate over there. Just the perfect thing I need while I'm working on my ship. Sometimes you just gotta trip. Trip balls. Med pack. Still somebody alive in here, it's set. Not sure where, though. I haven't seen them. Ooh, a crate. And nothing useful in it. Hmm. So where is our guy and our thing that we're looking for? Ah, here it is. This activates the door. And this is back where we started out, so that's excellent. Good captain. So between the ecliptic and the spacers, apparently they just tore themselves apart on the ship, and this guy snuck in right between them and apparently got what he needed to make his repairs and leave the space station. So now we're still chasing this one guy, trying to find this one thing that he apparently must have. Now you can do all these travels manually, and you can uh, also go through the mission menu and do it that way, but it's just so much easier to set your course. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. We'll find out, aren't we? Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Well, must be hijacked. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Mark's hijacked my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they've locked me down. Really could use an assist. We blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead, and our artifact's gone. We're going to have to board. Target the engines. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. Alright, you need to get those engines out. Come on, ship. Turn. There we go. Now, if I could pilot any better, we'd be getting this guy who's just doing circles and not even shooting back. Oh, now he's shooting back. Come on, buddy. We need you to stop, and I don't want to murder this guy. Okay, I'm really doing a lot of damage to this. Seriously? I hit this, isn't it just gonna kill them? Okay. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. I thought it was gonna kill them, so I was hesitating there for a second. Usually they'd shout something about their system being down, but that didn't happen here. Uh, I need something with ammo for clearing a bunch of people out. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll take our rifle. There. Who knows what's behind this door? Okay, that's one door clear. But we're safe for now. 
Um, there should be a hatch or something we can go through. Or a door to a bathroom. I don't need you. Okay, now I'm missing something. Somewhere we should be able to go to the ship. But, because I'm stupid and I can't find it, it's going to take a second. Oh, what about the other one? Oh, I can't see! Reload. There we go. This guy's down too. Two more, and I don't have much ammo. Never mind. Now I have ammo. You're on the wrong ship, buddy. Just stayed on yours. Ooh, you have a lot of health in this. I don't think so. It's over when I shoot you in the face. And now, because you didn't die with enough bullets in your head, I'm gonna have to use the cutter on you. So I imagine this is gonna be kind of antagonizing. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, I don't know about helping you. I'm just here to take your In stuff. In frosty temperatures like this, there's nothing better than a flask of a good English whiskey to keep you warm. We're on a ship. What are you talking about the temperature for? Hmm. How are you? Got anything for me? No. <sighs> Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Yeah, we're from Constellation and you gotta talk to me. And if you don't, well, I'm in the Vanguard anyway, so talk to me. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> I'm gonna groan on behalf of scientists everywhere, and then you're gonna hand over the artifact. But, I'm not going to say that, because I'm a nice guy. It'll be better off in our hands, pal. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Hey, this one didn't make me trip balls. Alright, you can have your ship and... Presumably all the dead people. I don't want to clean that up. That's like a you problem now, you know? You have your ship back, you get the dead people. I'm just going to leave with this piece of metal. That usually, or at least in our previous experience, makes me trip balls. Alright, let's go back to the lodge. See what we can do. Mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. Yeah, I do mind. I, I don't want to be talking to you right now. Why are you still following me? You're about to get shot in the head. With a mining laser, no less. Oops, that's a flashlight. I don't need that. My, oh my, 
So this is constellation. <laughs> we oh. have it. And Go large. ahead. Do the honors. Now this, this is history. Would you look at this? I assumed it was all right to let your parents in here, but maybe they shouldn't stay for long. I'm planning a grocery run later. Might get some things you like. Hell yeah. No, you're I talking. figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? Then you get that from me, dearest. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. Oh, sweet. So you're just going to give me that? Well, <laughs> I'll treasure it. I love uh, revolvers, so. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Cheers. Miss Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Actually, Mr. Cookies? What type? I make a mean snickerdoodle. Oh, yes, come on, now I, you're talking. Um, I love snickerdoodle cookies. Come on. It fits. Just Sarah doing up here. Energy spiked a bit. But it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. That's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. I am at your service, Captain. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. I expected champagne, and you treat me like a this? Well, I suppose it's a really rare thing to be in here, so I guess it's an honor. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Only if you accept me screaming at you for a long period of time because you are a strange entity with AI that I cannot comprehend. Like screaming at people through a window while aiming at the ground. Not wanting to come in while I'm talking to my parents, but then bursting down the door the first second I turn around. Ugh. You and I are going to have some work to do. You need to be fixed. But I suppose you can be on my ship for a little while longer. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Bye for now. All right. So now we have our next missions to take care of. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop here. We'll pick up on these missions by. next time. For you. Here. He's literally right there. Why would he leave a note for me if he's literally standing right there? 
You know what? Whatever. I hope you are satisfied with Oh my god, everybody's trying to talk to me. To Alright. I'm gonna take a step back here. And now, in the next episode, I'll pick up on these quests and we will see what we can get done, what things we can explore, what things we're gonna discover. I will catch you in that next episode. I hope you leave a like here, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.